freaking weekly fix of Golden Thomas finally back, and we get to see another episode that brings a lot of drama to the table. Okay, now Ghost Bonnery, fuck off. Seriously, I am getting tired of your crap, man. Seriously, it is annoying me. Now, you're gonna say, you tell your freaking newer self, oh, I used to think of you as a twin, but now, since you have completely crushed my feelings and don't want me to see Linda anymore, rip up her picture, which Linda did herself, I'm going to curse you and make your life a total hell for you. Freaking... Ghost Bonnery pisses me off so much. I, I know a lot of people out there was pissed as much as me about his character, and I know there's a lot of people out there that probably like his character. But Ghost Bonnery, you're going the wrong route. That is not the way you go. That is not the way you express your feelings by cursing your own freaking self. Just no, that doesn't work. But it was a good episode. This episode had a lot of Coco moments, and oh, I love Coco. You all know I want Coco and freaking Tata Bonnery to be together, and I know a lot of people want Linda and freaking Tata Bonnery to be together. But still, I'm a Coco fan, and they really dedicate that freaking opening and ending song really to her in this freaking new opening and ending song. Now, let's uh, talk about the opening and ending song actually real quick. Okay, the opening song, right when it starts off, it doesn't have that clingy, catchy feel that the first opening had. But it had, a, I guess, a different feeling and atmosphere around the opening, especially with the actual, I guess, darker tone to it. I don't know if it was just me, but it felt more drama-ish compared to the last opening. Like, we're going to have some serious crap go down later on in the series. Because, I mean, right at the start of the opening, we get to see Coco just crying with a tear coming down. And I was like, oh, no. But I expect a lot of drama in this second half of Golden Time. Because the, the way the plot, the way it's looking at right now, and gets, uh, since uh, Coco's going to be going on a trip, it's going to leave a a lot of development between Bonnery and uh, where Linda actually to grow as characters. I mean, they've had a lot of episodes together recently. Uh, it kind of sucks that Coco's not getting her actual amount of arcs and, I guess, screen time with Tata. I mean, she did get a lot this episode, but not enough as Linda has these past freaking, like, five episodes. Which is fine, I guess, for Linda fans. I am a big Linda fan, too. I like both their characters. Now, let's discuss exactly about the, um, I guess the entire plot of this episode. Really, it was just mainly, I guess, a breather uh, episode, just getting to see what is going down with Tata Monterey's life and how he's accepting trying to be with Coco, and getting to see exactly how Linda is accepting her change and wanting to completely friend zone. Bonnery completely from her. Now, I like the entire atmosphere on it. This episode does a good job of portraying atmosphere and does a good job of the music, and there's not much new songs actually uh, actually besides the opening and ending song, so that kind of sucks, but I do like the entire development with the characters, especially the good comedy moments with freaking Coco and Bonnery in the room. Okay, I, that was a funny moment. Now, I knew for a fact, I knew for a fact when that bag was she was wanting uh, basically Bonnery to eat some food, that was going to be just already made food. And now she puts on a freaking sleep freaking eyewear on him and then he turns around puts his hands in his pocket and she's like don't turn around and she starts acting like she's chopping freaking food with her knife she's like <laughs> you know humming like you know like she's really cooking food and then Bonnery's little iPad patch you know covering his eyes falls off he's like <laughs> he just doesn't say a word and he can't move because he promised and when she sees him and freaks out I, I don't know if it's just me but when I saw that scene I really thought of school days for a second, especially when she was holding that butcher knife and cooking food. I, I don't want to spoil uh, school days for anyone, but I don't recommend watching the series because it was terrible. But honestly, that entire scene with her cooking food, Coco, I thought she was going to go completely yonder a and kill Bonnery for looking at her. That That's exactly what I thought, but it didn't turn out that way and I knew it wouldn't, but still, that's exactly the way the scene uh, gave that impression to me. It was a good comedy episode. It wasn't, I guess, the best episode ever. The main point of this episode, what it really tried to focus on, was exactly right at the beginning when we get to actually see how Linda confirms she really does love Bonnery. She just didn't say that because she wanted to, I guess, express something to him, but Bonnery forgot in his head and cannot remember it because she ch tried to tell him something when he wanted to go thank her friend in the hospital, which we know is Bonnery now. Still, I like the entire development. We already kind of guessed Linda would like Bonnery the entire long run and feel guilty about it. But I think the only reason why she's not saying nothing is because she feels so guilty. She doesn't want to ruin the relationship she has with Bonnery at the moment and doesn't want to ruin Coco and Bonnery's relationship. So, the development is standard for a drama romance. But it's a very interesting series, especially with its college setting. And I like it so far the way it's developing in the second half. I cannot wait to see where the arcs take us. And once again, Ghost Bonnery, go fuck off. Everybody, this is Chibi, and Chibi out.